Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Keith, and welcome to my review of the new movie, Proud Mary. This, of course, is the new film starring Taraji P. Henson. The P stands for Pretty Damn Awesome. You've seen her in Empire as Cookie. She is an Academy uh, nominated actress. She was in Hidden Figures. She's been in a whole bunch of stuff. She's very versatile, love her on the big screen. Admittedly, when I saw the trailer for this movie, I'm like, oh, this is going to be the female Shaft. I'm excited. But then when you start watching the movie, you realize it's not really the female Shaft. In this movie, Mary plays a hit woman. She is very loyal to this to this crime family, and they've got a, they've got a rivaling crime family. And then things start getting out of hand. Caught in the crossfire is this boy that shows up in her life that all of a sudden she feels for certain reasons that she needs to look after. Then she starts wondering if she wants to be in the family at all. But you know how it is. Every time you try to get out, they pull you back in. Now, for the most part, this film was pretty entertaining. It was nice seeing another female uh, role where somebody's just kicking ass and taking names just like we saw last year in Atomic Blonde. And for the most part, Proud Mary is very entertaining. However, in the last, I'd say, 20 minutes or so of the movie, it kind of starts to lose some credibility where it just gets to be really silly. Now, I say really silly, but in the sense of if I was watching, you know, some sort of Friday night, midnight showing of some sort of like cult film, this type of movie would blend in perfectly like a shaft. Now, overall, did I love this movie? No, but I'm glad that I saw it. Um, Taraji P. Henson does a really good job of kicking butt, taking names in this film. The supporting cast is decent, although I'm not necessarily sure that Danny Glover was the best choice for the head of one of the families. Maybe, maybe not. Um, but at the end of the day, it's her movie to carry on her shoulders, and she does a pretty decent job of it. I wish the last part of the movie was a little stronger, because it would have made the movie stronger overall. Also, the, the, the actor that she got playing the young boy who comes into her life, not necessarily the best performance here, but again, it's the Taraji P. Henson show and it's her job to make everybody around her better. And for the most part, I think she does a pretty good job of that. I'm glad I saw this, but I don't necessarily know if you need to see it in the theater. Netflix should work just fine. And to that, I give it a C+. Proud Mary is a good film that Taraji P. Henson can be proud of. But is it going to garner her any Oscar acclaim? No. Is it going to be one of those movies that people say, oh, she was, you know, this was her best role? Probably not. That being said, if there's a Proud Mary sequel, I'm there. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have the chance to see this film, which is definitely, could definitely become a cult favorite, not necessarily a critic favorite, let me know what you think. CFL underscore fan on Twitter, Facebook.com slash Weedy Whittier and Weedy Thank you so much for checking this out. My name is Keith, and I'll see you at the movies.